Today I'm going to show you how to make three different types of transparent text in Photoshop that look like this, this, and this using some really easy beginner-friendly techniques that look awesome on all types of photos. So let's get started. For the first transparent text effect, we're going to create knockout text within a shape. So essentially we're making a shape and then making text that's transparent inside of it. So the first thing we need to do is create a shape. And in this case, I'll choose the rectangle tool. I'll set my fill just to white and the stroke to transparent. And then I'll go and click and drag out on my image, hold the space bar just to reposition the whole shape at once and then let go to create my new shape. Now let's go and create our text layer. So I'll grab my type tool, click once on my image to add some text and I'll just call this to winter. If you want, you can change the font or whatever you'd like to here, but you want to do any of those types of adjustments before you go and do this knockout text effect. So now placing this in the center of my shape, I'm just going to scale this up. You basically want to position it exactly where you want the knockout text to be because it's hard to edit easily afterwards. So I just want this to be centered within the shape. So I'll hold command or control, click on my shape to select it. Then I'll select my text layer, grab my move tool by pressing V, and then I'll just press the align horizontally and then align vertically, and that will center my text perfectly within my shape. Now I'll press Command or Control D to deselect my shape, and now we're gonna create a selection of our text. So holding Command or Control once again and clicking on the text icon here, as you can see I have that little marquee selection on my cursor. I can click on that and now my text is selected. With that selection active, we're going to apply it onto a layer mask on our rectangle layer. So clicking on the rectangle layer, then pressing the layer mask icon, and since this is the opposite of what we want, we'll press Command or Control I on our layer mask then hide our text layer. And now we have transparent knockout text within our shape because it's here on the layer mask. So anywhere I move the shape, this text will stay within it just because it is on a layer mask. So they're basically connected as long as they are linked with this little icon here. So that is example number one. I'll delete this layer. So we just have our text layer once again. And this time we're gonna create outline text. So the center of the text is completely transparent. Now with a text layer, even if you're in the characters panel here, you actually can't select a transparent color. So if you want to create an outline only text, the easiest way to do that is by converting it to a shape. So once again, make sure that your text is exactly how you want it. The sizing can be adjusted, but you wanna make sure that the font specifically is pretty much good to go. From there, you can right click on your text layer and go down to convert to shape. And this will change your text layer into a shape layer. So now when you access the shape tool by pressing U on your keyboard, you can change the fill and the stroke settings here. So if I go to the fill, I can set this to transparent. Now my text is completely invisible. So now let's add an outline by going to stroke. I'll add a white outline here, and then I could increase the size of the stroke like so. Click off of my image there. And now we have transparent text with only an outline on its own layer because it is a shape layer. So that's another really easy way to create transparent text. Finally, for the third way of doing things, we can use bevel and emboss. So I'm gonna delete this layer and just create a brand new text layer here. Grabbing my type tool by pressing T on my keyboard, I'll click once on my image just to create a new piece of text. And once again, I'll just type in winter here. Press the check mark to commit to that. And now we just have a regular piece of text on a new text layer. Now. What's important here is you wanna make sure that your text color is set to black because we're gonna change the blending mode from normal down here to screen. And what screen does is basically makes blacks transparent in your photo, which is why my text has now become transparent as well. So to add this bevel and emboss effect, we need to go into our layer styles, which will basically reveal our text even though it's transparent. Sounds a little confusing, but stick with me here. By double clicking on the text layer here, that will open our layer styles dialog box. Now in this dialog box, we'll go to bevel and emboss and make sure to check that off. Then we'll click on the bevel and emboss settings. And as you can see already, our text has sort of this shadow and highlight around the edges to basically define the text without having any color. Here you can change the depth of your bevel, which is basically how drastic the outer edge of your text looks. But for the best type of look, I would recommend going with the outer bevel or the inner bevel effect, depending on what kind of thing you're going for. And then from there, you can adjust the size of your bevel. You can soften it out or make it 
a lot more sharp, I guess. And as well, you can change where the highlight direction is coming from on your text as well. So this type of text, I think is really good for adding a subtle watermark to your image. So for example, if I just made a really soft bevel here like so, clicked OK. Now I have this really hardly noticeable transparent text that would work great as a watermark potentially if you're sending your photos to a client or you're uploading them online and you're afraid of someone stealing them. This would be sort of a more low profile way of adding this watermark without actually covering your whole photo in text. But even besides watermarks, it's also a cool transparent text effect that's really easy to create with layer styles. So those are three different transparent text looks here in Photoshop that anybody can create in just a few minutes. And if you enjoyed learning these different styles today, make sure to hit that like button down below as it really helps to support this video and feed the algorithm gods. And if you wanna learn more Photoshop tips and make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Anyways, my name's Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.